everyone. Welcome to episode 50. Count them. 50. Crazy. Can't believe we've been doing this over a year now because we did skip some uh, some weekends and some holidays and stuff. But today is a super special edition of Nolzer's Marvelous Tutorials with Realm Smith because of a couple of reasons. First of all, of course, uh, episode 50, which is huge. And secondly, because we have a guest today. His name's Hamilton, and he's around Ethan's neck right now. Uh, he is uh, Ethan's ball python, uh, and he is wonderful. Uh, but that is not who uh, our special guest is. Our special guest, of course, is Ethan, my son, and it being Father's Day today. It's an honor to have him with us. Where's your mini? Do you know where your mini is? Oh, it's on the floor. Did it fall? Yeah. <laughs> you might want to try and get it. <laughs> Uh, today we are painting the Wan T or Yuan T or Wun T. I don't know what you want to call them, but they are awesome snake like people, half snake, half human sort of folks. Uh, and we're really excited about that. Um, first off, before anything, I want to thank uh, D and D, of course, for hosting us today. Uh, we want to thank. Um, Whiz Kids, of course, for all the incredible miniatures that we use at the table on a ongoing basis. And we also want to thank uh, Vallejo for the incredible paints and helping us to do what we do as our paid sponsor of this show. Um, if you have any questions tonight, as the moderators are saying in chat, write question in capital letters uh, and we will answer them to the best of our ability. Uh, and yes, you can ask questions to Ethan specifically uh, and I have told him that he needs to answer them if he's going to be a good son today, and he has to listen. Uh, I've also promised him that I'm not going to embarrass him today, but that is my uh, right as a father. So as a father would, I said, don't worry, son, it's going to be fine. And then I figured there will be some embarrassment uh, in the next two hours of some kind, of course. Um, but of course, uh, painting a snake, folks, it's fun to have an actual one around uh, while we do it. He also, this is one of two ball pythons he's shedding right now. The other one, is his name is Carlton. And he's what kind? What's what's the other one? An albino inchi. Albino inchi. Uh, he knows all about that stuff, and I don't necessarily. But all of that said, let's jump right in. Uh, first off, of course, tools of the trade. As usual, we need the Wanti miniatures by WizKids. Then we have some brushes. We're using today a zero, a one, a two, and a number four, which is a Vallejo dry brush. We're also going to use some water, of course, for diluting our paints and washing our, our brushes, some paper towel for dry brushing and for also cleaning our brushes, and, of course, a paint palette for mixing and holding our paint, as usual. Today, we have a wide range of paint to make sure that we can paint these incredible miniatures. Um, heavy Sienna and Leather Brown for a lot of the leather areas, along with sepia wash for that. Glorious Gold and Gunmetal for all the metals with a black wash over a lot of the different aspects. Bone White uh, for the area under the neck of the Wanty. Heavy Skin Tone Cadmium Skin for the skin tones. Blue, Heavy Blue, Jade Green, and Livery Green, which are going to be really fun sort of um, colors to... Uh, to play with to get this a really cool sort of uh, approach to the scales and then heavy red hot orange for some of the fabric uh, highlights. It's going to be a lot of fun with all of these wonderful colors. All right. So you ready, son? Mm -hmm. So I am painting the Wanty Malison. This is the type one, I believe. This is the one with the snake head and the human body, as you can see. And then... Ethan is painting a type B, I think, or type two, I should say. This is another Wanty uh, Malison, and it's got a human upper body and torso and head and a coiled snake tail. Uh, Ethan really likes painting the bigger miniatures, so we said that, that was absolutely okay in this scenario. Um, where are we going to start, son, before we start taking some of these questions? Is sure. is Hamilton getting yeah. getting a little uh, yeah, agitated? A Not agitated. He's just trying to like go over. Are you going to be able to to, yeah, to paint yeah. with him on? Yeah. If it gets you too sure? much, then I'll put him back. Okay. And maybe get Carlton or something. All right. All good. Good stuff. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Just if he starts to rub over the mic, that gets annoying. Also, we have Sirenscape playing in the background. Let us know if it's too loud uh, and distracting. But of course, our great friends at Sirenscape. Um, as usual, uh, perfect. 
Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to start. Uh, typically, where you start on every miniature is, as we've always said, start with the deepest recesses. Start, start from the inside out. So in this case, I think the skin tones are going to be the deepest recesses on this. For this one, I would suggest skin tone as well, Ethan, and then you can do the tail. He's also got some scales on his back, which are going to be a lot of fun, right? Yeah. So for that, we're going to start with some heavy skin tone. Ethan, in his own right, is a really great painter already um, and is actually a commission painter um, and has done commissions for a friend of ours, a colleague of mine. Um, which is really cool. Okay, let me just open up questions here from Shad. I'd like to thank Shad, of course, and Prometheus Bound, Shadster, and Prometheus Bound on our, uh, as our moderators for tonight. Um, oh, that's always good. Just, just dropping stuff, folks. Just dropping stuff. I actually don't have that light working. I need to do that as well. Um, okay, so I always forget to do that. Let's see. Questions for Jason. That is me. Okay. Happy Father's Day to you, too, Sidafar. Um, awesome. Okay. So, starting with that. what uh, We're going to use a number two brush, or are you using the small brush? Let's use a number two, because you don't have to worry about it. It's the larger brush, as you know. And we're going to dilute our paint, as we always do. Um, we're using Heavy Skin Tone, which is the extra opaque paints from uh, Vallejo, they go on nice and thick, so you can actually, in one coat, do what you gotta do. Um, so that is great for laying a base coat, so you can kind of speed through it, not worry about it. We're also not gonna worry, Ethan, about painting the scales on the back. We're just gonna go right over kind of the edge of them so that there's no border between, does that make sense? Yep. So there's no border between the scales and the skin. Um, and folks, I give you permission to ask embarrassing questions of Ethan about girlfriends oh, or gosh. or life goals, um, how his mullet is going. Come on. <laughs> He's never going to do this again. <laughs> um, that said, though, you have decided not to cut your hair. I, I have offered to cut his hair, and I've cut it before. I, I do an okay job, don't I? Oh, Hamilton's coming over to say hi to me. Um, but you, you, you're done with it, eh? You're done with the long hair. Yep, I tried to grow it out, but it's too much. It's too much. Please. Too much to handle. Right. Too much to handle at this point. Okay, so that was easy enough. I have now base coated the skin, so it's basically just the chest for you. It's it's just the chest as well. And the arms. And the arms, right? for the most part. Uh, and then the rest is going to be, uh, oh, I missed his elbow. Then the rest is going to be different colors on the 1D. Look at that, so cool. Okay. All right, start with some questions here, why not? Uh, Michael2472 asks, just saw you on Facebook saying you got some Wave 12 miniatures. <laughs> of course, we can't get ours yet. So when do you think you will put them on the list of the, for the Sundays? Very soon. I wanted the Wanty tonight because these creatures may show up in tomorrow night's episode. So I needed a Wanty real quick, and I wanted to paint one up for the show, uh, for our live stream. But that said, um, that said, I wanted to... Um, instead of just having it kind of uh, show up. Sorry, yeah, so we, we will. Uh, probably next week we'll start with painting some of the Wave 12 stuff. Um, we don't like to paint them too far out from when you guys have them so that uh, you guys can paint along too, but I think that it's fun sometimes to do some unreleased stuff, so we will definitely jump into that soon. All right, I'm going to go ahead, and you don't have, you don't have uh, pants, right, on yours? So I'm going to go, I mean, it would just be one pant leg, basically, one long, wide pant leg, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use, uh, do I want to use leather brown or heavy sienna? Uh, I'm going to use mm, heavy sienna. Go ahead and shake up one of my favorite colors, heavy sienna, and this is what I'm going to use for the pants, for a base coat on the pants. Uh, 
and I'm going to then we're going to highlight it with some leather brown, but that'll come later. Or maybe I'll leave it dark. We'll see how I'm feeling when we get there. Um, comment from Sakura163 says, Oh my God, OMG, I love your pets. I need to get me another snake. Uh, he says, I know, right? Ethan takes yeah. really good care of his snakes. And they're cute and they're awesome. Um, and they're good boys, aren't they? They behave, right? Of course. What's he doing? He's just... He's just, just slithering. Just slithering? Slithery. That's what he does? Yep. Just slithering. Like a Harry Potter house. Oh, that was bad, right? Bad dad jokes. I think Father's Day, I'm allowed to do all the dad bad dad jokes. Is that okay? I guess. Do you know some da bad dad jokes? No. Some internet appropriate bad dad jokes? Maybe. Like what? Tell me one. What's the cheesiest joke you know? Come on. Oh, gosh. Come on. There's so many. There's so many t cheesy dad jokes, you know? No, no not, not really. You know any now? You're keeping the public waiting. No pressure. Thank you. This is your moment. If you I'm wanted to be a stand-up comment, co comment. Comment. If you wanted to be a stand-up comment. That was a joke comic. in itself. <laughs> it was. Okay, so... Heavy sienna on the pants. We're going to let that dry, and then we're going to give that a black wash, see where it lands and how dark it is, and then we're going to go from there. How's it going with that heavy skin tone, bud? I'm done. Do, you're done? Let's yeah. see. Let's show everyone. It's a little messy. It's great. It's exactly what it needs to be. Yep. You've gone over the scales. That's fine. Um, looking good. His sword's a little bent. Yeah. Which tends to happen if you just bend it back in place. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So next, I would like to, again, going inside out, I think I want to do... Hmm. Oh, I didn't do his hand. Oh, 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 oh. Did you miss his hands on the other side of his... You got his hands? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Okay, I'm going to in here and get his hands i forgot the hands on this hand i didn't even get the other one too man i'm i'm losing it buddy you're gonna have to take over the show sometime one day you will yeah. one day new host nolzer's ethan azevedo all right cool i kind of want to do the scales next Mm. No, that should be last. Think so? Yeah, maybe like a dry brush. Mm hmm. Okay. Why would we dry brush that, Ethan? To make it look like the skin's going into the scales. Yeah, but why? Like why would you choose? Out. Yeah, why would you choose a dry brush over the scales, rather than like just like brushing? For for the effect of the skin transitioning into scales. Yeah, that's true. And because the, the texture is really mm -hmm. de defined, right? So a dry brush would look really good on that. I agree. Um, I think I'm also going to do his boots heavy sienna too, actually. Now, you can use heavy sienna for... What What do you think you want to use heavy sienna for? Maybe the belts. And the yeah, I, I would do his, his straps around his body. So why don't you do that? Um, yeah, let's do the straps around his chest. I think with a heavy sienna there. And if, if at any point... Um, Hamilton gets too much, you can go put him back. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I think I'm going to do some boots under here. This color as well. I think. We should... Did I... I don't think I posted your... Your Vermin King thing, did I? Mm, your no. Rat King thing on, on Instagram? I should no, do that. you have pictures, though. I do have pictures. I should post that that was your first big commission right yeah you did a bunch of little rats for an undead army for a friend of ours but you didn't do but yeah the the, the rat king mini was the first four it's my favorite thing to paint paint so far is it yeah oh yeah cool all the effects and it's neat right it's disgusting but cool at the same time yeah 
Okay. Um, another question from Roman Wolf. Do you have, will you use a technique for making the scales iridescent? Uh, yeah. Um, not really iridescent necessarily, but I will make the scales kind of go from kind of blue to a green to a bright green. I saw somebody... I wish I could give them credit. I, I forget what the the account or the name was, but I saw some online um, recently that I really liked. That I'm gonna kind of follow their lead on that. I, I loved it. Oh man, I also messed up. Why does that? Oh, that boot goes right up to the knee. Okay. All right. So for the boots, I was gonna go tinny tin. Um. I love that name, Tinny Tin. Um, but I don't know if I want to first. Huh. Um, I think I just want to go solid gold on that. So we're going to use uh, Glorious Gold. Another just the color from Vallejo. Once you're done those straps, son, you can start with the gold. Okay. Yeah, I will. Um, and that's going to be on his boots. And some of the metal, I think I'm going to use tinny tin on the on the uh, shield because it's a larger area. You can decide if you want to use it, Son, or not. Tinny um, tin or gold? Tinny tin. Um, it's a, just a darker kind of really dark uh, copper kind of color. Okay. But I think I want this gold here like this. Um, Now, those of you that have been with us to shows may have remembered Ethan joined me in our booth. And he helped guest host some of our painting tutorials. If you have been at to PAX or Origins with us for our painting tutorials, you, you may recognize him for such shows as... Uh, okay, uh, and then the I'm also going to do the buckle in this glorious gold color. Of course, I also have a daughter. Her name's Kaylana. And she's not here because she's probably busy doing TikToks or something. So true. But we had lunch on a patio today, which was nice for the first time in a very long time. Melanie surprised us with a patio lunch. Surprised me coordinated it for Father's Day. Very nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to do those gold. I haven't decided. I have that jade green that I kind of want to put in. The, you know what? I'm going to do it. Why not? We have two hours for this one, and this is a smaller mini. I'm used to painting stuff that's a lot more complicated So, uh, in a short amount of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that jade green. Um, is, that, is that all I want to be gold right now? I think so. I'm going to take jade green, which is this funky kind of bluish green color. Give it a good shake because I don't use this color a lot. Um, while well, I take another question. This is from the D&D &D chat. Some, some of the things asks, what does Ethan most like to do? And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And Ethan, of course, it's nice to meet them. Um, what's your favorite thing to do? What does Ethan most like to do? And I don't know if you mean painting-wise uh, or just in life, but do you want to talk about what you most like to paint, first of all? And then after that, um, what is your favorite thing? What, what are your hobbies? Like, my favorite thing that I've painted or, like, type of minis? The type of mini that you like to paint. What's your favorite type of mini to paint? Giants. Giants. You love to paint giants. Yeah. Why is that? Because I get to figure out and play around with the tones of the muscles and stuff. Right, because the details are a lot larger, so you have more room to kind of like... It's like a biggest can bigger canvas. Bigger canvas, I like that. So true. Wow, he wants to get right in there, right? Eh? Yep. Not going my mic, bud. He's not, he's not on your mic right now, he's fine. He's not going to paint on you either. Yeah, there although he is shedding, so... And my hobbies... Yes. Me and my dad do a lot of airsoft together. That's true. Share that hobby together, and I'm really fortunate that I'm able to do that. Aw, buddy. Aww. 
That's true. We do like to go target sh target shooting with airsoft. And we we always we always kind of wanted to do it, but then it got really into it. Probably what like uh maybe like four or five months ago. Four or five months ago. That's right. No, actually, more like yeah. six or seven. Because we remember we played that one time. Yeah. We, and from there it just went. We played a couple times, right? How many times have we played? Twice? Three or four. No, three. Three times. Three times? Three times. We did that first time with Nick. Yeah. yeah. And then the and, second and then time. the second time. Was. Just us, right? Was just me and you where I got my first gun. Yeah. My first real gun. And then not real gun. Not your first like first airsoft real airsoft pistol. Gun. Yeah. Um, and then the one where we went with me, you, and. Um, What's his name? I think it was Brad or something? Adrian. Adrian, Adrian, right. Yeah. That's right. Cool. Come on, you're making me. Do we need to take him back? No, he's fine. He's just stubborn. Uh, yeah. We can't, unfortunately, we can't go play on a field, but we do like to go target shooting at a nearby shop. Shout out to Action Air Canada <laughs> and Jay, who are awesome over there. Um, it's our preferred shop. And uh, just a good dude. All right. Uh, okay. All right. So I've done jade green on the boots. That looks silly now. But then I'm going to go, after we give it a wash, I'm going to go in there with some gold and pick out all the raised areas with the gold and then it'll show through and it'll be really neat. Uh, so that's done. While that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use heavy red for a base coat on the kind of the loincloth area, I guess you'd call it, um, and the sash around his waist. What are you doing right now? You're still doing the, 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 yeah, the heavy, heavy sienna? I'm just touching up the skin tone. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go heavy red in here. This is for the, like I said, kind of the, the armor in the front. It uh, covers up his snaky bits. Sorry, that is, it's an appropriate Ethan, you shouldn't be laughing. Just mean <laughs> his, Never mind. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Why? And uh, and his sash here. It's funny because in preparation for, well, uh, we had a movie night. What night was that? Thursday night? Many nights. No, I know recently though. Oh, oh Friday night. Yeah, we were watching Expandables. No, not that movie. I'm talking about when we watched Indiana Jones. Oh. And it this this snake guy reminds me of kind of those movies. And I wanted, oh, right. I wanted to watch Raiders of the Last Ark. Last, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, not the Last Crusade. Maybe that's a different watch movie. That tonight. Yeah, the next one. Yeah. Temple of Doom, maybe. Ooh, I'm excited. Um, but we um, we watched Raiders of the Lost Ark because I wanted. I'm always looking for um, inspiration for our live stream, which is kind of in the jungle, and they're currently in a jungle temple. So that's like perfect. So that's like perfect. Do they? They, there's traps you, and stuff. I don't know if you can say anything about tomorrow's stream, but do you have anything in, uh, any surprises for them? Oh, all the surprises. See this temple in front of us right here? Yeah. You can see inside it. They can't at home. But this is uh, something else that they're going to... looks dangerous. Yeah, it's going to be. But, you know, there's all kinds of like, kind of temple, temple puzzles and traps and all that fun kind of Indiana Jones stuff that you would imagine in an Indiana Jones film. Um, so, just excited to... Speaking of Indiana Jones, what's your favorite yeah. film? Favorite Indiana Jones movie? Yeah. Specifically? Yeah. Um, Last Crusade, for sure. And what part in it, or what part of any movie? Um, yeah, Last Crusade's my favorite. Um, just because of the, the father-son thing. It's a newer movie, so it kind of has held up better, I think. Um, I love Sean Connery in it. Yep. He's awesome. Isn't Shia LaBeouf in it? No, that's that's the number that's the fourth one. That's, that's Indiana Jones one. and the Christ Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Um anyway, 
these. So that is that. Uh, I am going to, I think I'm going to end up base coating most of this um, before moving on to, um, what's tedious? It's getting in here where I can see. Oh, yeah. Um, I am going to paint the inside of the bracers, have like leather straps and stuff. I'm going to paint that heavy sienna. And then I'm going to come back, miss some areas of gold here. So I'm going to do that after this. Still using my number two just to be able to kind of like get the work done a little quicker. Not that I need to worry about it today because, again, we're only doing one mini today. I usually get really brave and do like seven. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. Good. All right, let's take some more questions. S. Good Kai asks, I can see you scraped a layer off your palette, Jason. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, I scraped a layer off my palette because it was getting mucked up and I needed to see the paint that we put on it today. So that is why, that is why I did that. Uh, I do clean it sometimes. Uh, before every show, I tend to try and scrape a little bit off. To kind of reveal the, the the actual plastic. The actual plastic, so I can see what I'm doing. But yeah. it's also hard to see what paint is what, because most of the paint looks like it's wet. True. But it's not. True. Some of it does look wet. Okay, so I'm going in here with heavy heavy sienna again. Having a hard time seeing in here. I'm just going to dab, jab my, in there, okay, there we go. Okay, so that is the heavy CN on that. I'm going to come back now with, um, do I want some gold in there, or do I want jade first and then gold? I think I'm just going to do gold, I'll leave jade in the, in the, Boots, but not in the bracers. There we go. I'm just make this all gold color. Ha ha. There. Uh, you know what? Why not? I'm also going to do some gold for the pommel of his scimitar. They have really cool swords, though. These scimitars. Yeah, they're like um. Ah, uh, never mind. I can't remember what it's called. Talking about the the type of sword it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like gra you know the tall grass shearing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a scythe almost. Yeah, that's what it's called, a scythe. Yeah. Kind of looks like a scythe a bit, eh? All right. Um, Should I go under gold? Yeah. Let's see. In the detail. Progress yeah. on Ethan's mini. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, looks great, bud. Um, yeah, so I would do gold, like this is metal, so I do the buckle and these, gold. Yeah. And even the, that center thing, which should mm -hmm. be gold too, right? And you see the little bumps? Yeah. On the thing? Do we have metal. Like silver? Yeah, we have a gun metal. A gun metal. Yeah. I think this is it. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to use that now so for the, the sword. So where's the gold? this one, this one, this, this one, one, this one, this one, this one? Which one? That one. <laughs> Smart butt. All right, uh, let's see here. Some more questions. Prometheus Bound, question for Jason from Junior. Oh, Jason Junior. <laughs> this is from Prometheus Bound, who's one of our moderators. What is your favorite D&D &D monster? Ooh. Um, well, I haven't fought many, but... Even ones you've painted that you... Painted? No. Um, or that I've painted or whatever. Any D&D &D monster you've seen. What's your favorite? The hill giant. Hill giant's your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just so beasty and it's v I'm guessing it's very hard to beat. Yeah, it depends on your level, but yeah, I think it's a level six, five or six. Oh, it's that. CR level. So, oh, well, what that means is that a, a party of fifth level creatures, w it would be a challenge for. That's the, oh. 
that's the way that works. Okay, so that was the metal, gunmetal. That's the only thing I'm going to do gunmetal, though. Um, the rest will stay as is. How's that hair treating you while painting, bud? That's why I wanted a hat, but you said no. <laughs> don't get the hat. I want to see your hair. And I did say that, didn't I? It's just because it puts shadows on your head, face. You call me in, I'll call you out. <laughs> Uh, leather brown. That's the type of relationship we have. Is that, is that how it goes? You hit me, I hit you back. <laughs> yeah. Bad. I don't hit him, folks. Just, just for the, <laughs> just for the, <laughs> not maliciously. Did you just get paint in my hair? No. Oh. Okay. Anything. Uh, all right. Uh, bad dad joke from Roman Wolf. What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? Sneakers. <laughs> Yo, that's right. Did you know that one? Well, yeah, no. Yeah, you did. There's no way you said it that fast. And, and no, it's just it. I thought ninjas were quiet and then sneakers. You've I'm heard a, it. I'm a, I'm a sneakerhead. So, I think sneakers are always on my mind. Okay, yeah, I've heard it. <laughs> <laughs> All of that just to come back and say you're lying? No. Yes. Yeah. Way to stick with the, Thank you. the joke. That was good. Yeah, more bad d dad jokes. Bring them. Okay, I'm also going to oh, go I in. Have... Hang on. I'm also going to go in and do he heavy. Sorry, no. A leather brown in this area. So this is the scaly sort of under neck area of the Wanty Mallison. But I'm going to base it with leather brown. Um, is there any more leather brown areas? Hang on a sec, son. Um, so Buddy, what do you want? You want to see it? Is he trying to? He's trying to. He's checking out his his brethren. Is he gonna eat him? He might eat him. No, he won't. Uh, that would be very bad. That would be very bad. Okay, so that was the leather brown. There was another leather brown area I thought I wanted to do. Oh, you know what? I don't have a color for. What? For his tongue, maybe we'll have to make it red. Maybe. Or hot orange, maybe. I'll see. Okay. Um, I thought I had something else for the other brown, and I can't even find what it is right now. Didn't you have, like, pale okay. brown or something like that? Or what, what's it? It's no, no. beastie brown or something? Yeah, but not, not here. Not a part. Okay. Bad dad joke number two from Mandatory Indoor Kid. Uh, when does a joke become a dad joke? Become... I've heard this one. Ooh. Um... You know this one. I'm using Tinny Tin for the shield. When does it? Dad when does a dad joke? When does it? When does a joke become a dad joke? I honestly don't know. You've never heard this one. I may have heard it, but I can't remember. When it becomes apparent. Oh yeah, 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 I, I, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do the ground leather brown. That's what I was gonna do. I have a jet trick. Okay, so this Tinny Tin is really good. This metallic sort of dark tin color, I guess. Um, it's not copper. It's too dark for that. I don't know what you would call this, but what oh, kind of metal? But anyways, this kind of nickel, I guess, or something maybe. It's really cool color. And then we'll dry brush that color with some glorious gold after. Uh, that was a good one, though. Keep them coming, folks. Keep them coming. I have a dad joke. Do it. Were you invited to the light bulb party? No. I hear it's pretty lit. Oh. That's dear. probably one of the worst ones out there. Dear. Dear, did you did you make that up? Hmm? Did you make that up? No. No. Oh, thought maybe that was a Ethan special. I think I have some written down somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have a horrible memory. I hope I didn't pass that on to you. I think you've said it once or twice, but you didn't. <laughs> okay, so that shield. I'm, I'm also going to do the strap this color too because nobody's going to see inside there. And it's just skin color right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Are you looking at bad dad jokes? No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, I think... There. Now I'm just going to do heavy blue 
for the scales and that is going to be base coated at that point well other than the leather brown let's do the leather brown for the base first okay more jokes here we go or more Fennec 75 is a comment. I love that Ethan is doing great painting this, his mini and playing with a snake at the same time. <laughs> yes, Ethan is very good at multitasking. He gets that from his uh, ADHD dad. So. Yep. Good multitasker. Are you putty? Mm -hmm. Iron Spider 1990 says... Jason, what Wave 12 Mini are you looking forward to the most? I've just pre-ordered the whole Wave. My wallet and my missus are not your biggest fans. <laughs> Folks, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Is that how it goes? Just kidding. I love it. Uh, and you can blame me. But uh, I'm just happy that you guys are pulling into the hobby and enjoying it as much as I do. Uh, and as you can see, it, become a, it can become a family affair. Um I should ask the missus to, to paint along sometime with you. All right. Um, if she doesn't already. Favorite Wave 12 mini. Ethan hasn't seen them yet. Oh, there's so many good ones. I, I opened up the box and every mini I pulled out. I was like, oh, man, I can't wait. Oh, man, I can't wait. Um, the Nefashi, which is a demon, looks really cool. Um, the Even though it's simple, the Bone Naga looks really cool. Um, the giant ape for some reason that's like the one I want to paint the most in fact I may have looked at D&D Beyond this morning to see if it was a CR level for my party <laughs> but it's a 7 it's a CR 7 which means they're not going to face it for like a while and definitely not this season there's so. a giant ape and you didn't tell me sorry it's pretty awesome it's upstairs on the table but it's great um really great mini and i can't wait to paint it um the cloaker is awesome the storm giant is definitely one that's probably the one we're gonna do next week um, yeah, I wanna do that. if i, I do have it i think i have the stone giant or the storm giant sorry storm giant. and if i do then that's probably what we'll be painting next week okay have a blue yeah. actually you were in a in a fire giant video that we uh yeah. put on twitch recently Fire giant, hill giant, stone giant. Yeah, at Origins. But I'm talking about like on this on this channel. Uh, while I was away one week, I re. Yeah, I think it was at the first Origins that I went to. Uh, no, you the the one that I showed. Oh, maybe yeah, yeah, you're right. It was the first Origins. Because all the giants I painted was at the first Origins I went to. I think it was Origins 2017, 20, 2018. 28, no, 2019. Sure? Yeah, it was Origins last year. What was your first one? So you've only been to one Origins. I went to two Origins. No. The sure? one where I met Johnny and Bobby for the first time. Yeah. And then the second one. That second one was PAX. Oh, no. I went to I went to two of one show, I remember. Hmm. You sure? I'm positive. Hmm. What do I know? Okay. So now I am using heavy blue to do the base coat on the scales here. Um, you know what I should be using here, and I wish I had some and I don't, are the color shifting paints from, from Vallejo. Why are we not using the shifters? Oh, that would have been cool. Man. Missed opportunity. Awesome. Maybe I will in the next set of wantee that I paint. How many wantees are there? Just two? Many kinds. These are kind of like the lesser of them. I think pure bloods maybe are the are the most non lethal, like the, the lethal? least scariest. Um but the uh, abominations are are like much higher level. The Wanty abominations. They're the ones. The whole body is a snake. That's cool. Like is your your one? your ba your bottom with my top kind of thing, and the whole thing is like a big serpent. Is there any? And they're very dangerous. So it's a human body, but all scales all, all over. 
it's a humanoid body with a snake bottom half like yours, but it all looks like a snake. It's like a big humanoid snake. So it's like this, but all snake. Yeah. Oh, exactly. That's cool. I don't know if we have a mini like that. I don't know if WizKids... I don't. They may have released one at one point, and I saw some online. I think they're WizKids minis. I should know this, but... Well, this is when I look at Hamilton for some um, reference because I want to see okay. if his... Is he back here? Yep. Okay. I want to see how his... How his... Oh, he doesn't like this. Yeah, so his bottom jaw is the same color as his belly. Um, it's all white. So I'm going to do that too. Okay, so that is it. That is what we're going to do for the heavy blue. That's as far as we're going to take it. Oh, this, it's going to be blue? Oh. Yeah, blue with blue to green. That's going to be really cool. Let's take a look here. Ethan's progress. Oh, yeah. It's not that got the much gold progress, in. but... It's lots. You're doing really well. Oh, you already got the metal. Yeah. Studs. Got metal. Awesome. Looking great. Now I just have to go on to the... Okay, yeah. I am going to do some washes now, though. That is my next. What did you do here? You did... That's going to be red and gold. Red and gold down here. What's that? Red and gold. Oh, where? Here. So yeah, so the, on the sides, I would say. So here, let's oh, wait, show the them what we're talking about. Oh, the supposed to be red? Well, it doesn't have to be. So this, I would do red, maybe. Yeah. Right? Uh, and maybe gold, these two straps, do a, a gold. Oh. And then I would make these whole things metal. Gun metal? No, uh, gold. Oh. And then you could and do a wash on it. Gold? No, I don't think so. These are supposed to be kind of like... Like... Cool eastern rich. sort of, yeah. Yeah, they're... Wealthy. Yeah, they've been around a long time. So like they're... pharaohs. Yeah, exactly. They're Egyptian in nature. Okay, so I am going to um, go ahead and start my washes. How long has it Let's been? Let's start with uh, black. Oh, I didn't. I did forget to do something. How long has what been? Our show? Yeah, so far. Only 45 minutes. Only 45 minutes? So we have an hour and 15 minutes, though. Jeez. Uh, these, they go by fast, but it's still quite a bit of time. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do gold across the bottom here. You can see that there's kind of a raised detail in the middle here as well. So across the bottom, raised detail in the middle. There we go. Then I will do some washes now. Hey, Hamilton. Okay, I'm going to start with a black wash. Black wash. After I'm done the gold, I'm going to go put him back and go grab Carlton. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Carlton should make a, an, appearance. an appearance. He'd like that. Both Hamilton and Carlton have to make an appearance. It's true. It's true. Yeah. One was when you were doing that painting tutorial with Nora. Yeah. And um, uh, John. Yeah. John Krasinski. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're not Krasinski. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's that's yeah. an actor. Kovaleski. Yeah. Kovaleski. Oh gosh, yeah. Hamilton. Dead. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do black wash with a tiny bit of diluted water. And I'm gonna put this all over the uh, heavy sienna areas. Uh, again, I don't want it too thick here because I do want that brown to stick. I, I, and I don't want it necessarily... My dad's calling me. Aw, what a perfect... Hello, Dad. Hello. You're live on the internet because I'm doing a show right now. Say hi to the internet. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, we're Ethan and I are painting in front of lots of people watching. Hundreds oh. of people watching. Okay. But it's Father's Day, and you're a priority, so I thought that maybe I should answer the phone. Okay, sorry to bother you there. <laughs> you're I not. One, you know the pictures that you have on Facebook? Yeah. Two of them, can you send them uh, to me? Yes, of course. Okay, whenever you have a chance. Yeah, no problem. Everyone it's can hear you, too. Say hi to everyone on, 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 the, on the Internet. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Father's Day for all the fathers. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Love you. Okay, have a good night. Okay, you too. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> oh, my dad's the best. Oh, Papa, eh? 
Well, you call him Grandpa. You call your other... Do you call him Grandpa or Papa? I call him... I say Papa Fernando, but I call him Grandpa. Okay, but when you talk to him, you call him Papa Fernando, yeah. right? No, when I talk to him, I say Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa. Right. Then... When you talk about him, it's Papa Fernando? Yeah. And Grandpa Mario, right? It's my stepdad and Ethan's Grandpa. grandfather. Yeah. Papa Papa Mario? Grandpa Mario Papa. Grandpa. Mario. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that is that turned out actually really nice, that wash there. It looks good. So you can see the wash I've added to that heavy brown has really kind of brought that down a little bit. Um I think I'm gonna use the sepia wash on the red because I, I want it to be a little lighter. I am going to use the black wash, black wash, on the shield. Are you taking them? Yeah, I'm taking them back. Okay. Just uh, when you put the mic, just be very... Oh, do you take the mic off already? Okay, you just got to be really careful with it because it's going to be loud. And then Bruno has come to join us. Bruno's a father too. Well, he's a bad father. He just abandoned his kids. True. He didn't have a choice, Ethan says. It's very true. He's such a good kid, eh? Man, I'm blessed. Don't get me wrong, he drives me crazy as a 13-year-old would. But it's a blessing. Especially that we can enjoy these hobbies together and all that stuff. Okay, um, I think that's all the black wash areas that I want to do. The rest is going to be sepia, including the skin. The skin, I want to make it like almost like tanned, kind of Middle Eastern or Egyptian um, colored skin is my plan. Oh, there he is. He's smaller than Hamilton is. Just watch yourself. It's a little tight here at the table here, folks. Okay, just get nice and close. There we go. I'm going to stretch the cord there. Look, oh, uh, get up a little bit. There we go. All right, another comment from uh, Shadster. Uh, Ethan should also post pictures of minis he paints in the Knowles Your Discord channel. Oh, I should go totally get you on the Discord channel. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's a great idea. Okay, so we're using sepia wash here. This wash is going to do a lot of work uh, in a lot of different areas. So basically the base will be washed with sepia. Looks great. Um, the blue base coat. Oh. oh, right in the paint. Here, it's okay. It didn't get on it anywhere Here. except for the, the tail. Tails. Do uh, the heavy, the heavy blue. I've done that many times. So, uh, with much worse results. So that was good. Um, it's good. Uh, heavy blue is what you want to do. Which is. Uh, that one there. Just careful because it's rips out of the gold. Just everywhere, yep. even on the scales. Yeah. Uh, I did forget to do the black whoosh. I don't know why I like to sing black whoosh. It's my South African black whoosh. Um, but I like doing it. I forgot to do it here on the on the on the boots. Now again, I don't want a lot here because I want that. I want that jade green to show up through in the recesses, but I do want a little shadow from the, um, from the gold. So I don't want it to be too heavy and I don't want to rest and cover that, that jade green. I just wanted to add a little bit of shadow around those shapes. Bruno, you're so loud. He licks his paws folks because he's got allergies and we're trying to figure it out, but He's so loud when he does it. Okay. Especially at night when we're trying to sleep. All right. Yep. Heavy, back to heavy. 
sorry, uh, the sepia wash. We're going to do the hands. We'll do all the gold here. Stay away from the blade. Oh, I forgot black wash on the blue, too. You're forgetting okay. everything, huh? I forget a lot in the show, son. Um... We're gonna go everywhere with this, with this, not everywhere, but in lots of different places with this sepia wash. Like I said, all of the skin, the gold, uh, under the neck area. And this will give the skin a cool, really nice kind of tanned or like light olive skinned sort of look. Use the wash for the pouch on the side that I did leather brown for the red sashes. Uh, all, like I said, all the gold here. Does a lot of work on a lot of different colors for me. Love this, this shade. This wash is, I've said it many times before, my favorite. Part or favorite color, type of shade? Favorite wash. For sure. You can just see what the magic that that wash does when we add it. Uh, oh! Jeez! Oh, okay. Interception. Um, then we go on the gold again because it's not quite dark enough. I think that is it for that wash um, let me see I am gonna go back in with some leather brown and f I didn't I wasn't going to do this bottom because I, I didn't realize that it was supposed to be a different color than the top so I'm gonna go back in and just paint inside the mouth and under the chin on this. And some more heavy blue. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Which one is it? This one? Yeah. Look at that thing. I'll do it. All right, next question is from the D&D chant. One man boy band. <laughs> How do I, that's, I think that's the winner for the, the name tonight. Um, how do I get practice painting minis without ruining them in the process? Um, a lot of people ask me that. I don't think you can really ruin a mini necessarily. You just nope. end up getting better. You just paint over it. Um, so I wouldn't suggest, I wouldn't consider it like a throwaway mini. I would just do it. And then as you do it more, you get better at it. It's kind of like your prized possession, your first painting, and once you get better, you're gonna treasure it even more. That's right, because you can see the progress. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about uh, so-called messing up your first miniature. Um, you know, if if you decide, listen, if if it's, if it's your first miniature that you're ever painting, you really want to get into painting minis, and you don't want to do that really large piece that you kind of want to wait uh, a little bit until you've done it a few times to be able to paint it then yeah, in that case, you know, maybe hold off on that prized kind of centerpiece miniature or your player character miniature or something like that and paint something that you're maybe less fond of or concerned about. Um, but, I, you know, when it comes down to it, if you wait too long, you'll never find a spot where you're happy enough to paint the ones that you think you need to wait to paint. So um, that's my suggestion is just do it. Um, all right, so the washes are drying. They take a little bit of time. It's dry on the heavy uh, the heavy sienna areas. It's dry on a lot of the gold, but we want to wait a bit on that. I want that shield to dry as well so I can do some dry brushing there. Uh, that is Carlton. Albino Enchi, you said? Yeah, he's albino. He's, he's awesome. Boy. Well, can you put him under the camera so people can see? There he is. He's great. There's Carlton. Redbeard76 says, have you seen the Baldur's Gate 3 trailers? Yes, I have. And it looks incredible. I watched all of D&D Live, and there are lots of cool highlights from D&D Live um, that I'm very excited about. So, 
Sidfar asks, how excited are you for the Icewind Dale expansion? So freaking excited. It's going to be fun. I don't know if we're going to play it on stream anytime soon, but it's definitely something that I'd like to put into the roadmap for, for some point in the future. Um, and Sidifar is actually one of our uh, new moderators, so welcome. Sakura163 has a comment. I have no kids, but my niece and I just painted our first mini together. It's so fun to paint with kids. It was a My Little Pony with kids, and she wanted it, <laughs> it evil. So oh, Rainbow wow. Dash turned into a flame pony with black eyes, LOL. <laughs> That's great. I painted Twilight Sparkle for uh, a Wiz Kids thing, um, which was fun. It was really good. And what about the Transformers? Yeah, I did Transformers too. I did some of the Transformers minis that they have as well. I have a really good question. Sure. What's your favorite mini you've ever painted? Oh, yeah, that they ask that all the time. Um, my favorite mini is probably the Beholder that I did. What's the most treasured? I would say that Beholder. Sure? Yep. You've painted many. I'm talking about, like, yeah. like not your favorite thing to paint, like your most... Yeah, my favorite prized, Beholder is... Like, so it, took, it took the longest, and I, I, I took the most care with it. Yeah, I would say that Beholder is probably the one. I think I'm going to keep these pants the way that they are. I think I like how... Kind of a bit dirty, and uh, the tone of them, I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to keep it. Come on, wash. Okay. Um, let's take some bleached bow. Oh, sorry. I keep saying that. Wrong paint company. Bone white. I take some bone white. And I am going to paint the underside of his neck. Um, pretty much in completion, and then we'll we'll add a wash to it after. You're almost done. No. Oh, I thought you said to completion. Oh. Yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. Towards completion. Um, but basically, at this point, this will allow it to. Sorry, I was paying off camera there. But we're gonna do all of the under of the neck. Um, make sure that you come over to this side. Paint the jaw. Okay, so that is the under neck area. Um, I might go ahead right now too, and with this bone white, pick out the fangs in the mouth. So there's that, and there's like fangs all along the side here, like that, or teeth. Just correct me if I'm wrong, son. Uh, constrictors have teeth, not fangs, right? Yep. Because they don't rely on their teeth to kill That's right. their, um, their prey. Their prey. They That's right. constrict it. That's right. Okay. So the wash is done on the boots. So I'm going to go back to that, that glorious gold and pick out all that filigree that is on there. Okay. Another question from the D&D chat. Hulk Reality asks, uh, is this the Wanty from the Wave 11 or 12, or which was it? Wave is it? I don't know which wave it was, but I it was. it's an older mini. It's not from 12 or 11, for sure. Um, it's, an, it's an older wave, and even from the packaging, you can tell. So, but I'm not sure exactly what wave it's from. Okay, so for this uh, effect, what we're going to do is we're going to run almost like the edge of the brush over this raised detail here. Um, and what that'll do is it will leave the green in the recesses as like an added detail. Oh, it's too wet. You know what I would think to do there? What? Dry brush. No, because if you dry brush it, it's gonna, it's definitely going to get in the recesses. And we want it to be nice and solid color. Oh. So that that's the only thing, is, is if you dry brush, it's not going to be striking, and it will, brush, bristles will get in between, and you'll end up losing that green. Good idea. But uh, the problem with this brush is it's wet already, and it's just it's leaking in. What's that? Yeah. We're not done the boot yet. Yeah, we're getting there. This is all base coating on Ethan's. Don't forget the scales on the back. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have to finish the tail. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. 
Is there a technique or just go for what I feel? For what? Right now? The scales on the back. When we do them later, you mean? Oh, you haven't done yours yet? No. What? The base coat? Yeah. Oh, the base coat's just to brush it on like you were everything else. You know a dry brush? No. Right now? Yeah. No. You want to just brush it on. Should I paint every nice single solid. scale or just paint that whole area? Just paint the whole area right now. Oh. In okay. blue. You're talking about now, right? With the base coat, with the blue. Yeah, on the back of the scale. Yeah, the heavy blue. You just want. You just want to do the whole, the whole scale. I would uh, think you wanna. You would want your. Um, oh, you're talking about the the belly. This. Uh no no just do it solid like this look. Oh. Because then we're gonna dry brush over that and it's gonna pick out the different scales. This is just the base coat. We're just laying down. Solid coat, and if you do each scale, you're, you'll lose the uh, the effect that we're going for later. Yeah. Okay. I know he's so loud. Dude, you're destroying your paws. This is kind of working. Kind of what I'm going for here. I just want that that jade to show up in the middle here. So we're being very careful to just run the edge of our brush along these areas so that that jade stays showing through. There we go, at the base of those boots. We're not even going to do a wash on this gold because we don't want to obscure that green more um, with the wash as it will go into the recesses. So. Go. You can tell I'm starting to enjoy myself because or I'm getting kind of like pulled in because I'm talking less. Shoot, I just got it on the boot. See, start talking. <laughs> Do something I don't want to. But the beauty is, is that it's just paint. So I can go back with some heavy sienna. And just paint in. That's why I like to get all my base coating done and then do details like yeah. washes. Yeah, I don't too. do like paint one area and then washes so I can get it perfect. But that turned out, those boots. Details. See? Oh, wow. Over there. Oh, yeah, that looks amazing. Yeah, so that's the idea that I had for that. And then the, the base of that one, you don't have to do the belly so much, but we're going to do leather brown right. and then we're going to work it up to bone white. Oh, I thought we were going to do this color. No. No, the, the scales are going to so be... So kind of like this, but more the, like this. dark. So like that. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, another question. 6.07 is the time. Uh, would a wet palette work better? Um, for, I find, I mean, I want to try a wet palette, and I still plan to one of these days. Uh, I've never really used one much. Uh, but what I find with a wet palette, or the the, the what... The benefit that a wet palette brings, let's put it this way, the benefit that the wet palette brings is to keep your paint wet longer. But I find that the Vallejo paint actually stays wet for a decent amount of time. And for the time that we do this show, or when I'm painting miniatures just in general, I'm just painting the snake butt. I'm just coming back in here with heavy sienna and just bringing back. So instead of like highlighting it too much or adding too much to this, just coming back and adding some heavy sienna in the areas where the light, where it'd be lightest, including his butt. Little one, one T. Little one booty. <laughs> can't escape it. Did you just say you can't escape it? You heard me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna pay for that later. All right. Um, oh gosh. So, <laughs> all right, so that is the uh, boots. We're going to go in, and I'm going to add, I'm going to go in and do some of these uh, hot orange color. All right, uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I do the skin first. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do the skin just in case. The flesh tone. Uh, bad dad joke from Kyburn. Two peanuts were walking in the park. One was salted. One was assaulted. <laughs> Salt. <laughs> Do that fake laugh. Good. That's a good one. Sakura, bad dad joke. How do you get a squirrel to like you? Oh, I just saw this. Oh. 
Do, 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 do. Act like a nut. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah, right. <laughs> Suck. Sakura, another uh, Redbeard. How do you make a handkerchief dance? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. It's an oldie but a goodie. Put a yeah. little boogie in it. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I want to use this hot orange to highlight the sashes. Now I'm going to use the edge. This is like over, over brush. It's not really a dry brush. It's an over brush. So I'm using the edge of the brush to go over the highest details without messing up the inner areas, if that makes sense. I was oh. going to do the flesh, but I decided no. What? She's moving around. Um, now for the front part here, the ridges aren't deep enough, um, kind of te texture to be able to run the edge of my brush along it. So I'm actually just going to brush lines on it instead. You can see that that's nice and bright now with that hot orange. And that's kind of as high, as bright as I want to go. I like to highlight my reds with oranges instead of pinks because, or with a, instead of whites or light colors because it ends up looking more like a red color rather than a pink color. Okay, a little departure from everything. I'm gonna go right into the Glorious Gold. A little dry brushing for those of you that are new to painting. Dry brushing is you, you load your brush not more than halfway, you don't want to get it into the ferrule, which is the metal part of the brush, because then um, it'll block it and ruin your brushes. But you basically want to wipe off the gold as much as possible on a paper towel, and then you're going to basically, by brushing it along the detail, you're depositing dry residue and creating natural highlights, just like that on the shield. Look how cool. Looks like a burnish. Look at that shield, Ethan. Over there. Oh, wow. over there. Oh, so yeah, looks, looks like a look, looks like a burnished. Really good. Metal shield. I love that word, burnished. Me too, right? That's a good it's word. A leather term. Right? What? It's a leather term. Yeah, I guess it's it is too, right? It's used for leather. When you I think it's used for metal too, isn't it? Maybe not. Stuff. Maybe I'm just. Do this to yeah. make it shiny. Oh, is that called burnishing? It's called burnishing. Learn something new. Okay, um, that bone white now. We're going to go back in under the under the neck and paint in this sepia. And that's just going to add some shadow under the neck there. We'll come back in and highlight that after. And uh, actually I'm gonna add a little bit of sepia wash on these teeth too that's too much now they're obscured there we go we just want it to basically rest into the recesses to really make them pop to make them look nasty all right time for the flesh we're gonna get a little cadmium skin that was so close yeah i know we keep bumping each other we're nice and close quarters here a little cadmium skin and we're gonna mix that a little bit with some heavy skin tone so that it blends. So we're gonna get, we're actually gonna get heavy skin tone, and then we're gonna mix in a little cadmium skin, and with increasingly lighter layers, we're gonna start to lighten this, this skin here. Now again, we're looking for kind of an olive, sort of heavily tanned skin tone. And I'm just hitting all kind of the major muscle groups here. Kind of figuring it out, making it up as I go. A lot of painting minis is that. I am not a, a expert when it comes to anatomy. But a lot of my comic book work in the past has kind of given me somewhat of an understanding of the way that things supposed to kind of work so we could also dry brush this skin but I 
prefer to do a kind of a wet sort of blending. Just like brushed, blended area. Again, so you can see that I'm really isolating these muscle groups with this color. Here. Now I don't want to add too much. I don't have to add too much on this side because it's kind of in shadow. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do there. What do I do now? Looks great. I hope the back's not too bad. No, it's good. That's perfect. Look at this. This is Ethan's. Awesome. Looking great. Okay, so then now I'm gonna go and add some more cadmium skin. Oh, I've already got some in the, in the palette. I already grabbed a bunch, and I'm gonna mix more into the heavy skin tone here. Again, increasing layers of lighter and now I'm going to focus more on the upper areas of these muscles and just kind of the edges touch the edges of these muscles muscle groups what should I paint now wait oh. I don't know what uh, what is there son the arm things the gauntlets yeah that's a good idea but I don't know what to do there um, gold. I thought you painted it green. No, not the gaunt. No, the gauntlets I made gold, just gold. It was the um, the greaves that I made with the green because there were bigger areas. Okay. But the gauntlets, I wouldn't worry about it. Where's the gold? Up here. No, like the bottle. Uh, here. Green. And basically, I'm just focusing on the top of the muscle for this highlight because I don't want it to be too prominent so that it does look like the light is coming from the top down. We're just catching those muscle groups as we go here. Um, finally, just a final highlight of pure cadmium skin. up in the corner here and little dots basically at the apex of certain groups of muscles like that final highlight i totally forgot to do the hands again oh so i'm going to go back to a oh uh, I'm going to go back to the lighter, the, the darker sort of mix of heavy skin tone and cadmium skin. Get all the knuckles here. Like that. Didn't do any highlights here on this bicep. Should have some. That's good enough. And then again, run my brush along this side. To lightly to Highlight those knuckles and those fingers. There we go. Oh dear, so he does not like somebody outside. All right. Let's see here. Um, lots of questions. We're not going to get through them all tonight. J Jason, how do you use glaze medium? When blending colors, do you prefer to use a medium, wet blend, or just layer it all? Um, I use water. I use water to blend. Uh, these are acrylic water-based paints. Um, I don't feel like it needs any medium. Sometimes I'll use a medium if I'm using like a wash because it tends to help a bit, but not really. I haven't done that in a long time. I just prefer to use water to be able to blend things. Um, uh, for Ethan from Shadster, how did you like playing on Noobs of the North? I think it was Noobs of the North at the time. That's the Noob stream. Will you be playing any more of your dad's games? I 
have no clue. That's kind of up to him. <laughs> that is true. You don't know yet if you will be playing in Dad's streams moving forward. Uh, but I think so. I'd like you to be there. Yeah. I had fun with playing with everybody. Yeah. It was pretty fun. I have to stop eating fun. snacks, but... <laughs> At the it's table. It's right. Downside. It's so loud. Uh, I am going to use a little bit of um, Bone White, folks, um, with some Leather Brown to just to highlight these pouches on the side here. Um, that might have been a little bit light, but we'll see. Maybe I'll give it another wash, and that'll bring it back down. Looks good. Uh, washes. Oh, uh, blades. These are the blades. And remember, too, you can get close enough so you don't have a... Well, the wash is going to help with that. With the edges, but I would uh, do the the swords. Okay, what color? Next, whatever you want. But I did my middle. Go middle. Yeah. Uh, it's looking good. Looking good. Um, I am gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use pure bone white for under the neck here, and I'm gonna try and pull out these little ridges here. So I want it to stand out from the flesh and right now it's kind of blending. So that should be good. I want it to kind of stand out as its own sort of thing. Like that. There. I'm gonna go back in and I'll just highlight the very tips of these teeth really stick out okay I'm just gonna go hot orange with a little bit of heavy red for the tongue which is sticking out we'll see how that looks in the end but I think it'll look good yeah that looks good this large forked tongue on this malison that works great. Is this a mixed color or what is this? This is a normal skin. That's tone? skin tone, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That is the tongue. Okay. Oh snap dad. It snap says happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Oh, it's very nice comment from the D and D chat from Alfno. Uh, love the color choices. Reminds me of Mesoamerican ink and Mayan type of thing. It's exactly what I was going for. Um, I think it looks pretty good so far. Okay, skin is done. Now onto the scales. This is where things get really cool and interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do on these scales is I am going to dry brush with the base color of heavy blue. Again, with dry brushing, load the brush, wipe it off, and I'm just going to go and I'm going to dry brush carefully not to get it on anywhere else because we've worked so hard now just to bring that a little bit of that blue back because of the black wash that we did. So we're bringing it black, back, black. No. Do that one. See if I care. Do uh, care? Okay. <laughs> no, I don't care. All right. So uh, that heavy blue we've used now to bring those scales back a little bit. This is where the magic's going to happen. You ready for this? Back in black. How was that? How was that? Why is it? That's not the weird. Love you. Love you. No? No. Hold on, I'm just going to try and embarrass him. It's not working. That's just embarrassing. Rig 17842 says, if your son and his friends, for whatever reason, wanted to start up a campaign for whatever reason, and ask you to DM, what setting would you use? Ooh. I would put them through the Tomb of Horrors. No, I wouldn't. That would be mean. I don't know. Maybe Icewind Dale, actually. That would be fun. Do you know what would be a good idea? What? If me and my friends start a show on your channel. Oh. Like, um... And then Look at this, eh? Asking it. me on stream so that if I say no, I'm a bad father. No. I'm, I'm just, just kidding. 
Yeah, no, so you but want that would be a cool idea. Like, it is a I cool get idea. Some of my friends, we can play on the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. And see how they do. Like, I love that. Darien or something like that. Yeah, that's a great idea. Look at you shouting at your buddies on stream. Yeah. I think they would have a lot of fun doing uh, that. I think too. so too. All right, so I have now. Look at that color. Look at that color. I have now oh, dry wow. brushed the jade green over the blue. And I'm focusing, I'm not going all the way down, and I'm also just making sure that I focus on the top areas so that that kind of iridescent and that blue kind of still comes through. But that looks really cool. Really cool. Okay, question from Redbeard, Redbeardin84. Why do seals swim in salt water? I have no clue. Because pepper water would make them sneeze. Oh, gosh. Boom, boom. That's a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next. Look at this. This is where the magic is going to be. You ready for this? Sure. I don't think you're quite ready. This is going to be, wow. It's going to make a pop. Okay, livery green, which is a super bright green. I don't know how this is going to go. I am, I am going to dry brush it. I have not cleaned my brush from the jade green because I want that a little bit of that to be left. Oh, and just test it just on the shoulder here, and we're going to go just at the top of the detail here. Just at the top, like the green doesn't come out unless the light is on it. It's a little bit off of the camera. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Am I my director now? I mean, I can be. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm just hitting the top of that detail. Look at that. It's actually very cool. And I'm glad that it looks better on camera than it does in person. Right now. There we go. Look at that. Hey, Bobos. So that green is just kind of focused on the top. And that really is making those, those scales come out. Yeah. Love the way those scales look on the back. Thank you for the... Blue wash? Um, inspiration Instagram. What? What goes on the blue for a wash? Black. Black wash. Oh, black wash. Yeah. That's black cool. wash. Remember? Wash. My black wash. We already have some on here that I can use. Yep. Yeah, black wash. You just might want to wet it a bit. Yeah. All right. Roman Wolf says, what is the monster model not made yet that you want to see the most? For me? Well, so at D&D &D uh, &D Live, sorry, they... Um, released or whiz kids announced their large gargantuan uh their adult and gargantuan dragons uh, or legendary dragons and they are unreal so i would like to see more of those that is my thing it's my jam i want big big arse dragons that i can put on the table for my players that's what i want so the white one was amazing i'd love to see a big arse red dragon what'd you say big arse Sorry, excuse my language. Um, and I just dry brushed the base with a mix of leather brown and bone white. And we're taking a bit more time on this mini, which is why there's a lot, a lot more depth and kind of um, excitement. Um, just because we're taking a bit more time on it uh, because I'm only doing one this week. Uh, I am going to take some sepia wash, though, and go over this pouch again, which will bring it back down. A little bit in brightness. There we go. And those look a little bit more like leather. It's only 6.30, buddy. It's half an hour? Yeah, I'm almost done here, though. I'm pretty much done. So, um, flash wash? All I think I have to do now yeah. is I have to... I'm going to do a dry brush of gunmetal. Do we have gunmetal still on here? Yeah. Where? Is that the wet one? Uh, CPU wash for the flesh? CPU wash for the flesh, yes. Okay, so we're just going to do it here. I'm just going to go prep for tomorrow, and you can just finish teaching the class. What do you think? I don't know if I can teach. No, I think you can teach. I, I believe in you, son. You can do whatever you want to. can answer questions. You can be whatever you want to be. You know what I mean? There was a time... No singing. When you heed no singing. a certain call. No? 
been the world. No. No. We are the world. Okay, fine. No, okay. Sorry. Am I embarrassing you yet? No. No, just myself. This is just everyday life. I'm just, I'm just embarrassing myself. Yeah. See, now that I'm pretty much done, I'm just gonna have some fun with this, with this Malison. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to basically like, I think I'm going to take some glorious gold and I'm going to paint the center of this circle in this shield, this color. Yeah. Make that center really nice and ow. That's right. I use that sound effect. Ow. And that just made it pop like that. Uh, the only thing I am missing on this Malison is um, eyes. So we are going to use livery green. Now the Ooh. problem is this: this livery green is really wet. Don't bump me, because I'm doing eyes. Come in here and just. There, like that. That was so loud. Yeah. Oh, I went a little too large. Sorry. It's not your fault. There we go. Look at this. Come on at ya. Uh, I do want to put a little. Uh, I do want to put a little slit through that eye, though. I don't want it to be just green. Yeah, like a little snake. Thing. Yeah, but what am I going to use for that? I think I'm going to use, what's the darkest color we have? Blue? Well, what's the color of the eye? White? No, it's green. Where? Oh, use um, this. Wait, did you use, what did you use? I think the I'm going to use blue. I used the livery green, so I'm just going to use Wet. Yeah. a little blue. Oh, or jade green. Jade green might not show up enough. I use the blue. What else do I use sepia wash for? Um, well, actually, you should have done the, uh, the. You want to base coat the belly with um, leather brown, and then you're gonna use sepia. Wait, what? These scales are gonna be leather brown, then to bone white. Painting. Yeah. Where's leather brown? Um, you're gonna need more of it. This one. Okay, so here we go. Very carefully, don't move. Very fine brush. Oh, <laughs> I said don't move and I moved and then I messed it up. Which, again, if you just grab a unused brush, you're good to go. So then we're just gonna go There. The problem with that is that I lost a lot of the. Stop it. A lot of the brightness. It's okay. Oh, it should be so loud. A lot of the. Ethan. Hmm? A lot of the brightness. I lost when I messed it up the first time. There we go. Come back in and do a little bit of lighten those eyes a bit with that livery green. Don't bump me, please. No. Oh gosh, I did it again. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> Talking smack over here, this guy. If there's too much white, then the same thing is going to happen. Nope. There we go. Like that? One sec, I'm just focusing. Huh? Yep. Nice and thick, though, and on the bottom, too. And around, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. just make sure that it's nice and solid. And then I'm going to just come back with some heavy blue. 
and the eyes are a bit too, they come far too far down. They look a little like anime eyes, so I'm just gonna do that. On that side, and then a little on this side. And you can see, folks, when I'm doing detail work like that, a little tactic is to rest your hand that you're painting with on your miniature or on your other hand. And that will help to steady your brush. And I think I am done. This guy is boom. Of course, stay tuned, folks, tomorrow night where this guy may make an appearance at the table for Tides of Wild Mount. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, this bracer does not have enough depth, so I'm just adding a little bit of wash, sepia wash to it. Well, I'm done. I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this want be done. Put him off to the side here. He's just going to hang out and dry a bit. Gonna, we're going to answer some more questions while you're painting. What do you think, son? Yeah. How's it going there? Looking great. Looking seriously great. All right. Uh, comment. Your son painted their minis better than me. <laughs> Man, do, Dolba says. Mandelba. Uh, Aramil Liadon says, the paint is strong with that boy. Instead of the force, get it? It's a yeah, Star Wars yeah, reference. I, I, okay. I got it. Uh, George15000 says, Jason, which is the age to start painting a little guy? Um, good question. I, Ethan, when, when did you start? Two years ago? Painting? Well, like, I, I've always been painting stuff and drawing. And yes, true. Art. But you, you started it's seriously mini painting probably two years ago. Two I'd say so. I say ten or eleven, but you can start. No, I, you painted with me even younger than that, like oh, Warhammer yeah. minis and stuff. So, I mean, I would say I mean, I as early as good. you can get them to start. Just there teach is no, them early. Yep, teach them early. Um, uh, from Jack's not funny, who is one of the D and D moderators. I like the wet palette because it thins the paints just a little bit. Good point. Uh, I am gonna start using a wet palette at some point, like a like I should. Um. Oh, did you drop it in the paint? Nope. No? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to a wide shot right now, just so we can hang out and answer some questions. What do you think? Yeah. Comment from the D&D &D chat from Rose Quaw. Asks, Dad, stop embarrassing me. <laughs> you have, you have like, paint on your face. I don't know yeah, how you did that, but... So. Um... Marathrust Marathustra says, is that sandpaper on your handle for grip or to cover up the name of the manufacturer? <laughs> yes, this is another manufacturer, so I've covered it up. Uh, it is Games Workshop, but I've covered it up for grip and just because I don't want it on camera, but that is just gaff tape. Quolith123 uh, says, did the Realmsmith crew all train at the same Pun Fu Dojo? <laughs> yes, we did. We the puns are strong with us. I love your child, Jason. So professional. Oh, I love it. You are very professional, Ethan. Ethan is more funny than Jason, and I love it. <laughs> Shadster, that is just not as nice to say. It's very nice. Um, it's very, very. I nice want everyone to thank Ethan for being here for the first time and the last time, uh, because what? I don't want you to take my job from me. <laughs> um, that's really not cool. You think you already have? Listen to him. A little entrepreneur. Dad joke from Gary Diamonds. You ready for this one? Yep. Gary, one of our uh, revelry pirates. Captain, he, yeah, he was a captain, and he's passed on his captainship to Salkax um, because life. But uh, thank you, Gary, who is still a huge supporter and ha has a Gaziel Thundersmite shirt, uh, which is awesome. Why did the math problem look so sad? Because of all its problems. Ha ha ha. No? Yeah, it's funny. It's a good one. It's a pretty good one. Oh, that, uh, yeah. Another get dad joke from Gary Diamonds. What did the coffee report to the police? I, oh my gosh. Come on, this one's easy. I... What do you drink coffee out of? Oh, mugged or something. A mugging. 
I'm lugging it. <laughs> Scuba Studio says, those are looking really cool, Jason and Ethan. And that is the last comment to question that we have. Is it? Yep. So far. Oh. So keep, far. How's it going there, bud? Keep the comments what coming. Uh, We're keep, fun. Yeah. How's it going there? Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll show. Oh, I probably have to change to that camera first. That would probably be a good thing. Man, that's looking really good. Looks better on camera. It does look better on camera, eh? Mine did too. But you're painting the underbelly. Kind of a leather brown color right now, right? Mm -hmm. Looking good, buddy. Looking really good. I like the dark skin tone. That's cool. Are you going to finish that one so we can show it next week? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, what happened to the base? He fell off? Yeah. Do you want to put him in here? So you can oh, hold them better. Oh, yes. Want to use my mini it's holder? Pass. Of course. Carlton. Already? You're too young for you that. Hold Carlton. I can hold Carlton. Does he want to be held? Is the question. Oh, he is on there good. There is a yeah. death grip. That's why Holy. I have my There's like the his. This is Carlton. Say hi, Carlton. This is your debut. Anybody oh, out there freaked yeah. out about snakes? Oh, it's easier now, eh, to paint without him on your... Oh, yeah. Can I buy one of these? Sure. Or can you buy me one? Thank you. Deacon Blues Hamilton, a regular on our um, on our stream. Um, put him to work and add a new stream for just kids. Probably already mentioned, but just checking That's in. That's what I said. Been with my son most of the day. Nice. Mod note. And he is a moderator as well. Um, I'm not supposed to say that out loud. But thank you, Deacon Blues. Cave Enclave, dad joke. I don't have kids, so I can't tell dad jokes. It'd be a faux pas. <laughs> get it? Get yeah. It. You, did you just make a bad breath joke? No, I was like, get that out of my ear. Oh, get that out of your ear. That would not have been nice. But. No, you're laughing. That's really funny, though. It was. Come on, a faux pas? Yeah. That's, I think that might be the winner for the best dad joke tonight. Is his mouth okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. He is a cutie. Seriously, anybody scared of uh, snakes out there? Anybody like, why do you have a snake on camera? He's awesome, though. His eyes creep me out a little bit. Well, they don't. They do. Blank. They do a little bit, though, seriously. First get He's a wonderful body. color, though, isn't he? It's so smooth and soft. It's not slimy. Oh, we got another question. Okay. Didn't say slimy. Sli sli oh, uh, Tam Good says, Ethan, tell your dad to finish his DM avatar and post it to Facebook. Finish your DM avatar and post it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I probably need to do that, right? Oh, wait, I have my D avatar done. Okay, I'll post it. Nice job, Tam Good. Get my son to say. Okay. Dad Crystal, question. How long have you had your pet snake? I love snakes. I've had oh, Hamilton question. for almost two years in August. Two Hamilton years in for August. Two, almost two years in August, yeah. And him, I got him in, I think, July. Yeah, and, and Carlton was significantly more expensive way more expensive than Hamilton but Hamilton's your first love your first first child yeah. and you take very good care of them these are Ethan's pets and his alone he takes care of them he feeds them he cleans their cages not often enough but I pay for the food and he pays anything. for his own, their own food all that stuff all right I think I'm gonna call it son okay okay Thank you for joining me, buddy, for this. It means a lot. Look at that me? mini. 13 years old, y'all. 14. 13. 14 in September. Look at that. Really well done so far. I can't wait to see what he does with the um, dry brushing. 
afterwards. He's going to be awesome. All right, y'all. You guys have a wonderful evening. I am sporting my new D&D shirt I got for Father's Day from uh, Melanie. I'm also sporting my new uh, Shield of Faith pin. Uh, and this pin is very important. I will show you. Uh, this pin is from Beetle and Grimm. I ordered it. Um, and all the proceeds for these pins go towards mental health uh, awareness. And um, you can order them at beetleandgrimms.com. They don't even know. That is not That is just a, a friendly plug. They don't even know that I ordered one or that I'm saying that. But you can check them out at beetleandgrimms.com. Beetleandgrim and they are one of our sponsors for our show tomorrow night. We will see you tomorrow night for Tides of Wildmount, episode 12. We have two episodes left. Um, and then this week, folks, for the revelry, keep your eyes out. Get your bits fingers ready. Because we're going to have some awesomeness happen in the finale. Um, but the Discord, there will be lots of really fun things to do um, to this week uh, in the Discord. And then leading into the finale. And then we're back to Into the Mist, which is a Curse of Strahd campaign. Mid-June is the plan. We have a huge announcement tomorrow mid -July? night. Mid-July. Sorry, mid-July, not mid-June. Mid-June just happened. Yeah. Uh, but we have a huge announcement coming tomorrow night regarding uh, something happening in July, which we're super pumped about, like so freaking pumped about and honored to be a part of. So we're going to let you know. And I can officially say that most of the cast will be around the table tomorrow night for uh, Tides of Wild Mount, uh, except for Nora, of course, who is in California, and Adam, who can't make it live, but he will be with us via Zoom. Um, but the rest of us will be around this table. I cannot freaking wait it's been way too long since something like that has happened. So you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you, son. High fives for painting. Um, if y'all would like to see Ethan um, be on the show more, let us know in Discord. You can check out our Discord server. Also, if you liked what you saw tonight, you can subscribe um, using your Twitch Prime account, which doesn't cost you anything. It helps us out because it, it takes resources to do this. And so that is helpful. As, or at Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3, and you will be entered into the Revelry, uh, which is our online community in Discord where you can um, role play with the community as well as buy ships and upgrade them and follow captains and join crews and then go on, on, on certain things. And then you get access to all of our funness. And again, folks, that is just my thank you. Um, you know, by subscribing, you're helping the stream for us to create new content. And then uh, all the revelry stuff and all the bonus perks and stuff is just for us to say thank you. A way for us to, to appreciate you guys as our community. And I apologize for Bruno's uh, in, the, in the background here the whole time. Apparently we're keeping Ethan up right now. Um, I'm just watching myself yawn in the computer. I keep yawning. I love you, son. I love you, too. You guys have a good night. Bye.